Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Programmatic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could quickly find the implied volatility skew for a particular stock. And this implied volatility skew is based on the different expirations available um, for the stock. So let's use SPY in this example. And we're going to scroll down here. We're on the option uh, breakdown report for SPY. We're going to scroll down here and we see a table of data and to the left hand side it shows us the different um, available option expirations for SPY and then to the right of it we get different types of statistics that are related to that expiration and the first one over here at the money IV shows us that at the money implied volatility that is related to these expirations and next to it, we see the percent change of the at the money implied volatility on the day. And what we're interested here is to the right of that, the implied volatility skew. And this measures the implied volatility skew based on the 25 delta call and the 25 delta put. And the way this is measured is it takes the at the money implied volatility for, for that expiration and runs it through a model where it runs a straight skew through every strike. So we'll use, for example, July 28th, it'll take 9.6 uh, at the money IV and run 9.6 through every strike that's available in that expiration. And then it finds the 25 delta call and it compares the 25 delta call to the at the money, 9.6%. And it tells us that right now in this particular expiration, the uh, 25 delta call at uh, implied volatility is 0.7% higher. We're trading at a 0.7% premium to the at the money IV. And then we do the same thing for the put. We find the 25 delta put. I'm going to come down here for this example. Let's say August 3rd. We see that the 25 delta put is trading at a 3.9% premium to the at the money IV. So this lets us know what the skew looks like towards the upside and towards the downside. And we could kind of visualize what that smile would look like. Let's go maybe a little bit further down to a longer dated option. Let's say August 25th. We see that's 22 days 22 trading days to go. And here we see that the 25 delta call is trading at a 10.4% discount to the at the money. And the 25 delta put is trading at a 10.9% premium to the at the money. So as the strikes are going up, the implied volatility is coming in. As the strikes are going down, the implied volatility is going up. And this is one way you could compare the implied volatility skew at, on different expirations. And you could, e you could look at similar products or other products to see how those implied volatility skews line up as well. So hopefully, everyone, this was helpful and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.